Hey guys, this is JJ Industries. Uh, today we're going to look at the helmet, so hopefully it's arrived safe and sound. So we're looking at one of my casts here. This is one of the. This is a cold cast, but the dye came out a little dark, so I'm going to keep this one for myself, which is the one I'm going to work on in these videos. Today we're going to look at trimming and sorting out that seam line on the back. So hopefully you've got everything. I'll go through the parts. This is the dome, the most obvious part. Um, you've got the inner face plate, the outer face plate, the left and right ear greaves and the left and right jawline greaves. So we'll come to all those in due time. The first thing we're going to look at today is the dome. So in terms of what we have to cut out, we have to cut out this eye hole here and we have to cut out several of these little cheek details. So to, for this first video I'm going to show you the eye cut out and I'll, I'll also show you how to cut out one of the holes and that will be enough to, for you to get the rest. If you have any questions just get in touch. So, um, the, as you can see, there's, a, there's almost a little recess around the edge of this, this eye hole. So this is, should help you make it really, really sharp. So what I've got is here, I have some, some grinding pieces and I have a drill and a Dremel. Now a Dremel is absolutely uh, vital to being able to cut out this eye hole. You could probably get away without it, so it's probably not so vital. And eye defenders, so eye defenders, safety glasses. So, okay, so where we've got the JJ, all I'm gonna do is, just so I know where it is on the inside of the helmet, I'm gonna drill a small hole through. And this will just allow me, when I look from the inside of the helmet, to be able to see where I'm gonna be cutting from. So I'm gonna loosen up. I find it always easier to use the extension piece on your Dremels, if you've got them. Just makes life a little easier. So, I'm just going to drill, just drill down in the bottom corner. Okay, so we're good now, so we shall have four holes on the sides of the helmet. So what this will do is, when I look at it from the inside now, you might struggle to see it, but you should be able to see some light through there. And they are my four corner holes. So they let me know where I'm going to grind from. So you can see a really big ridge, so that's not going to be too bad to spot uh, on the inside of the helmet. And what I'm going to use is, I got myself a nice set of Dremel bits. You can use cutting elements if you want, um, which I'm going to use to cut out the majority, and I'm going to use these to really clean it up. So this is going to be the course, and this is going to be for the, the finer details. So we're going to cut straight to that now. Get it. glasses because I don't want to put my eye out. So I'm actually going to cut from the probably in fact if I've got room I'll cut from the outside of the helmet because I just want a really coarse line. So now I've cut the, a very, very rough bottom line, which we can sort of see through now. Um, because of the this top ridge, I can't really cut in from that side, so I'm going to have to cut from the inside out. So this part will just require a little bit more delicate touch, but because it's straight across the brow, uh, I can actually just cut dot to dot in a straight line. So I'm going to do that now. Just to get the top and bottom connected, so we can get them out. Uh, I might be able to pop it up by hand. Yes, yes I can. Okay, so, and that's the eye hole done, finished. Not really. Okay, so now I'm going to take the grinding bit, and we're actually going to grind away the rest of this bit. So I advise you start with something quite coarse, and work your way down. I'm 
using the, the flat tip bit here. But we'll go to some more curved ones in a bit. I'm actually going to work from the outside in, and that will allow me to control where we're going. For this top bridge, I've cut away obviously most of the material, but you can still see just a little lip just on the top. So I'm attacking this from the inside in the same way because we've got this big open area, it's really quite easy to get in there and, and level that out nicely. cut out now. That sits quite nicely. I've got all the edges for the most part. What I'm going to do now is, with a tapered tip piece, uh, is just go in and just clean up some of the internal edges. So this will just make it a bit easier. Less likely to catch your blackout material and make it a little bit better. <laughs> Right, okay, so eye holes now nicely cut out, and on the inside, we've got a nice cut out as well. Now, the brow is where it's going to be sitting just above your eyes, so you will put some, some padding in that part of the helmet, but I'm going to put it on to see how it fits. So far, let's see where the eye level is. So, eye level's about here. Now, you can see the big problem at the moment is my nose, which is touching on this part here. This part does have to go, and it will make it so much more comfortable to wear when that bit's gone. So, back on we go. Yep. So, um, do I through because there's a lot of dust. So we've now cut out the eye hole 
and we've cut up this bridge. Using, although this piece of bridge isn't going to be seen because it's going to be covered by, by that, uh, this is the part where your nose is going to be near, so you kind of want to make a little, spend a little bit of time on that because although you're going to put a bit of foam on it, you generally don't want the shape to be jagged. Um, so you want to make sure it's plenty, plenty soft. So on the inside you can see I've kind of rounded that a little bit and tried it again. Ah, now that sits so much better, so my eyes are exactly where I see. And the, hopefully the great thing you'll see when you try this on is the, the line of sight in this helmet generally is a design nothing to do with my make um, is brilliant because the, the curvature of where the eyes are when you look sideways you can still see out you can see you know the eyes are recessed down here you can see down really well um, and just generally it's it's a really nice helmet you can tell they've designed the originals for this for the film around uh, usability because they seem to be just they seem to have actually put some care into, into how they're going to be so that's it so far for trimming that and that. Next, uh, you can do exactly the same for all the way around the outside of the helmet. I'm, I'm not going to show you that now because it's it's very basic. It's exactly what we've just done here, all the way around the edge. You want to get you want to get all these little bits, grind all those away, make them nice and neat around the edge, and, and maybe even just soften up that edge a bit, just so that it doesn't catch on anything. Make it nice and smooth. And um, some people have already contacted us and told us they're actually going to line it with a with a foam. Uh, which is fine. I'll probably just put foam blocks in because the inside's black. If anybody gets a look in, it's going to be dark anyway. So other than blacking out with the mesh, you're going to have you're going to have blackout anyway. So it hopefully shouldn't be too much of a problem. Pick one of the more obvious ones, which is a good one. Let's say this one right here because it's in the middle and because I can. So first thing I'm going to do is, although we can see the shape of it from the back, we just want to drill it out from the front. And that's just so we're doubly sure where we are. So I'm going to drill it through. Well, we're effectively drilling out the four corners if it was a square, but it's not. So then from the inside, we get a nice shape of what it's meant to be. And this is where our grinding piece comes in. So we're actually going to grind from the front. Well, we could. There's nothing to stop us doing that, but it's probably going to be a bit neater if we reveal from the back in. So you might need to make sure your piece is on the very top. So you've got a really nice long throw on. Or arm of your bit. These are um, diamond coated bits that I got from Amazon. You can get your own equivalents. The great thing about the diamond stuff is it cuts really well and it doesn't seem to clog up as much as the other ones. So it's good, get them. So anyway, we're gonna end it up. I'm gonna put my face mask back on because it's gonna get dusty again. And okay, here we go. If I can find it, there it is. Just try to turn this way and you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this on the back side while I look at the face side. Okay, so, other than being covered in a lot of dust, um, you'll see now we've got one hole cut out. The great thing about sanding it from the back rather than the front is, uh, although it looks a little messy on the back, you can clean that up, that's no, no major issue. We can sand that down with the Dremel a bit more if we want it to be a bit prettier. 
Um, but the great thing is that when you look at it from from the front, you can't. You know the edges are very very clean. You haven't got to worry about slipping with this because when you're going back and forth on the edge, all you'll maybe do is make it a little thinner. You won't actually change the shape of the holes, which is the what we want to do here. One thing that I did notice, which uh, Dino pointed out to me, uh, my final moulding actually had a mistake. So I have actually missed out uh, some grooves on the details here, which are between here, here and here. Now, it sucks, because I kind of wish I put it in, but we're stuck with it now. So what you guys can do is, the same method I've just done here, we can do on these cheek details. We have to be a little bit more careful, but it's it's no big issue. I'm going to do a whole separate video on how to cut those details, um, because all we're going to do is drill four corners from the face, just like we did there, and then we're going to we're going to use the cutting tool to cut the mass out, and then we'll use the the tool just like we did before, and we'll we'll cut around like we did the eye hole, and that'll cut that detail out nicely with with no discernible difference. Of course, if you're not going for super duper accuracy, you can leave that out because it's it's a minor detail, but it's a nice one to have because it's there. So I'm going to leave you there with that one. I'm going to pop it on because it feels nice to have it on. This is, this is nice to have. So uh, the only other things you need to deal with on cleaning up are this, which you can deal with sandpaper, depending on, on how bad it is. You can you can get uh, anything from 600 grit or even 240 if it's really bad but none of them should be really that bad but uh, you really want to sand down the whole dome before you paint anyway so it's it's good practice to sand it all down and I, I'm, I'm advising somewhere near a thousand to top before you paint but really get it get it a nice surface but this dome is going to be dinged up anyway so we don't need to be too precious with it we want it to look a little bit beaten um, and then next videos we'll deal with these parts and then that'll be it so thank you very much guys stay tuned and we'll be back soon